Hi, welcome to the app development tutorial in Android Studio. For this tutorial you need to know some Java. Some basic Java is highly recommended, but uh, not required because you can make this app without knowing anything if you just copy me. I mean you might not learn much, but you'll still make an app. And maybe you could, I don't know, make similar apps but it's highly recommended that you know some Java before attempting to follow this tutorial. So a little background, uh, I'm taking a course with Udacity, an Android developer course that was uh, developed by Google and uh, it's a really great course, I'm learning a lot but it costs $200 a month so I want to share everything that I've learned so that people can learn the same thing <laughs> without paying that much and I also feel like the best way to solidify something you know is by teaching it to others so let's get started first let's look at the app so this is the app on phone it's a movie app that gives you reviews ratings trailers overviews and release dates on the most popular and highest rated movies using a movie API. So here are the posters for the movies. Let's scroll down. Okay, let's pick a movie. Uh, let's pick Ant-Man. Oh look, a movie. Alright. Okay, it was released on this date. Oh, pretty good rating. Here's an overview. Reviews. I don't know why those reviews are not in English, but okay. Uh, now let's watch some trailers. So normally, under most circumstances, a YouTube player will open within the app, and it will play the trailer. But uh, because we're using an emulator that doesn't have the YouTube app installed on it, instead it will take you to a web page of the trailer. So it's going to be extremely slow because this is an Android emulator, which is known for being extremely slow. And a little background information on this app in general, it's extremely optimized for performance. There are no redundant method calls. Uh, it uses a Picasso library for the images instead of bitmaps, which improves performance and avoids an out-of-memory exception. And in general, because of all the advice that I've gotten from my instructors, this app is very well built, I think. Okay, so the trailer's playing. And if you haven't installed Android Studio yet, let's go back. If you haven't installed Android Studio yet, I have a video walking you through that, which I'll have in the description. Oh yeah, you can also... Uh, you can also share depending on what apps you have installed on the device this app has no other apps installed on it so it's just texting but by clicking the share button you'll automatically open a text up to anyone say check out this trailer for Ant-Man and a link to it but let's say you have Facebook or something else on your phone you'll be able to do that through this share function So you can sort by most popular, you can also sort by highest rated. That's not right.
Let's look at the app on a tablet. Alt space M to move the emulator. This is really slow. Running two emulators at the same time. So this app using fragments we're able to have a different layout on tablets for a better user experience. Which we'll see in a second. Alright, you are not connected to the internet. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, and here we go. We have the highest rated movies on the phone emulator. So let's favorite some movies now. I mean, I like The Godfather. Uh, Interstellar was a pretty good movie. Oh, it's already favorited. Alright, so now we're going to do something cool. Let's say you want to use the app, but you're not connected to the internet. Let's turn airplane mode on. And let's go back to the app. It'll tell you that you're not connected to the internet, but because the favorites data is stored in a database within the app, favorites will still show up. So, uh, you can still check out information on your favorite movies, reviews and stuff. Okay. And then, you know, if you unfavorite it, go back. It won't be here anymore. So that's pretty go cool. I don't know why this tablet is taking so long to load. I'm going to close this phone emulator. Alright, I closed the tablet emulator by accident. That's fine. We'll start. We'll get started with making the app. So uh, you project. Remember, if you ha don't have Android Studio installed, you can go to my other video. Link will be in the description. do blank activity with fragment. The reason we're using fragments is because on the tablet view you want to run a... Uh, a fragment is like an activity within an activity and in the tablet view you want to run both activities at the same time. Actually, while we write this... Oh. Alright, so we'll call this main activity in fragment
All right, here we go. While we write this code, I'm actually going to run the tablet emulator here just to show you what it looks like. So we have our new pro project with the fragment and then we have our main activity and where's our fragment? Right here we have a placeholder fragment. We want to make our own custom fragment. See placeholder fragment is a class right here. So uh, let's just copy this. We're going to make our own class for our movie fragment. is really slow. Hello? <laughs> Alright. Normally things will not be this slow. So we'll call this movies fragment. I'll just copy this over. fragment and this is going to hold our grid view So in this episode, we're just going to create the grid view in the XML file. And uh, in the next episode, we'll populate the main grid view. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I want to import this. Oh, wrong fragment. Go to File, Settings, Editor, Auto Import, and check all three of these. It'll make your coding experience a lot easier. So, this fragment will inflate fragment main, but first we gotta go to the main activity. If this if saved instance state is null, which means if this is the first time this activity is being created, it's going to add it was before adding the placeholder fragment, but now we replace that with the movies fragment, so we're gonna make it movies fragment. But what we're gonna do is instead of add, we're just gonna change this to replace. And this will come in handy in the future because we don't want to place too many fragments in one activity or one view or activity. We want to replace the current fragment with a new movie fragment, not keep on adding new fragments to it. Let's look at how it looks on tablet. So this fragment will be inflating the XML fragment the XML file fragment main. So we want to put a grid view in here. Right now there's just the default hello world grid text view. First we're going to remove all the paddings. These paddings are at 16 each. Let's just make that zero. Then 
we're going to add the grid view. We're just going to name it grid view, or not name it, but give it the ID grid view. So the width and height are just going to fill the relative layout that it's in. No padding. No vertical spacing. No horizontal spacing. We're going to make the background block. Okay, that's all for this episode. So in the next episode, we're going to populate this grid view with the uh, with just one movie poster, just to make sure we have the layout right. And then the episode after that, we'll use we'll get data from an API and populate it with multiple movie posters. And we'll slowly build this out from scratch. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe it. And I'll see you soon.